a special Air India flight carrying 324 Indian nationals who are stranded in the quarantine city of Wuhan in China have now been brought back to New Delhi. We are given to understand that the plane has just touched down in New Delhi. The passengers are now being screened for the coronavirus by a joint team of airport health authority and also the armed forces medical services. Now all the Indian nationals have returned from Wuhan which is the epicenter of this coronavirus outbreak, will be kept in quarantine in the Army's medical facility at Manasar near New Delhi. The passengers, most of whom are students, will be kept in isolation wards for at least 14 days to begin with. They will undergo daily medical examination. They'll be allowed to go home if they show no symptoms after 14 days. However, they'll be kept under observation and their medical records will be forwarded to the concerned authorities for further follow-up. The evacuation drive came a day after India reported its very first case of coronavirus. A Wuhan University student who returned to Kerala had tested positive for the virus. And for more on this, we are joined in by Vyons Sidhan Sibyl, who is joining us over the phone line, and he's been tracking this story pretty closely. Good morning to you, Sidhan. Now, we're given to understand that this first set of passengers who are stranded in Wuhan, these are Indian nationals, most of them students, have now been brought back. Give us a sense of what their situation is like at this point of time. Well, Mohammed, the first flight which went to Wuhan to bring back an Indian citizen stranded in Wuhan, which is the epicenter of this crisis, has landed here in Delhi, it landed around 7.24 a.m. It's just almost 30 minutes, uh, almost little more than 30 minutes uh, that the plane landed. And right now, what I can tell you is the second phase of the operation has started. The first phase was uh, bringing back these Indian citizens from Wuhan. The second phase, uh, the second uh, phase of the operation is a little more difficult in the sense that... Uh, the screening has started. Uh, we we uh, have little visuals as well of uh, the makeshift screening camps which have been put at the Delhi airport uh, with people uh, obviously in mm -hmm. protective clothing and uh, the, uh, the people who have arrived now are being screened. So there are three stages. If someone has symptoms, he will be sent to the he or she will be sent to the base hospital in Delhi. Can't if uh, the person is in close contact uh, 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 and the other stage of course is if uh, he was not in close contact, both are clubbed together and sent to quarantine. If you are a male, you will be sent to the Manesar camp, which has been built by the Indian Army, and if you are a female, you will be sent to the Chavla camp, which is being uh, which has been built by the ITBP. Absolutely. Now, one of the biggest focus right now will be to ensure that the infection does not spread because these are Indian nationals who have been brought back, who have been airlifted from the epicenter of this viral outbreak. Uh, at this point of time, do we know whether any of these Indian nationals who have been brought back, do they, do they, have they shown symptoms of this coronavirus? But as of now, uh, the screening process is underway, so uh, we will get to know a clear picture will emerge al almost after like two hours. But one thing I can tell you that initially India had planned to bring back 366 passengers. Now India has only brought back 324 passengers. Uh, uh, what uh, we are given to understand is that few people did show certain symptoms and they were asked not to board uh, the plane as that um, as of now. And we also know that another plane is also uh, will be leaving uh, for Wuhan today, an Air India plane to, to bring back another set of people. So only then uh, these people can come. But by and large, all of the people will be uh, kept in quarantine for almost 14 days. And of course, even after you know, they are relieved from that, if they do not show symptoms, they will be kept under state surveillance. So clearly India has put in a lot of measures to make sure that this virus does not spread from China from these people who have been brought back. And largely these measures were uh, put in place for almost a week ago. We know that the process of evacuation had started only yesterday was the culmination of the entire process. But the process started on Monday, Monday, uh, which we, from where we saw that the Indian mission reaching out to the the people stranded in Wuhan asking their passport numbers, their names, uh, so that they can uh, uh, compile a list. Absolutely, indeed. We'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much, indeed, Siddhant, for joining us and getting us all those updates in terms of what is happening with these Indian nationals who have been brought back from the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak.